the UV6R. We're going to talk about it today. Hey, I'm Jim, KN4YCD, and this is FEP Labs Radio. Stay tuned. All right, guys, quick review. I just got this radio today. I ordered it from RNL the other day. They had these as their deal of the day. This is a uh, Baofan. This is the UV6R, not necessarily an unboxing video, but it is in the box and I have to unbox it. I kind of opened it a little bit earlier. We have a user manual and the actual radio itself, which I did put the battery in and took the plastic off of. And we have an antenna and a wall wart charger a desktop charger that the wall wart plugs into. It is a lithium ion battery and it takes 10 volts in and puts out 8.4 volts DC. And a belt clip and a stealth earbud and a strap. Always important to have a strap for your radio. <clears throat> so, we're going to take a look at this. This is the Baofeng Professional FM Transceiver UV6R. So, let's get it, uh, let me get it plugged in and turned on. I'm going to hook it up to a SWR meter and uh, check power output on it as well. And then my plan is to hook it up to our tiny SA and take a look at the output frequencies. All right. Channel mode. It's the same lady who does all the Baofeng announcements. Frequency mode. This uh, also has a flashlight in it, I believe. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how awesome that is with all the lights on in here. I can't really tell. Oh, and it flashes. That's kind of awesome. So this is uh, listed as a dual band transceiver, which uh, two meter and 70 centimeter. It also is a commercial FM transceiver. And uh, let me set the radio there. Commercial FM, it has a Vox function, it has an alarm function, 128 memory channels, two power settings, 5 watt and 1 watt, which we're going to test in just a minute. Uh, light up, display, programmable keyboard, it beeps if you want it to beep. It says it has dual watch and dual reception, which if that's the case, this would be awesome to use for satellite chasing which is uh, something I want to get into. I have an antenna for it. I haven't even put it together yet. Um, and this would be a great little radio to hook up to the antenna for doing satellites with. It also apparently goes out of band. And once I have it hooked up on the uh, dummy load, we're going to see if it transmits out of band because that's what it came up with was 173.5, which I'm not sure what that is right off the top of my head, but I know it's not in the hand band. So yeah, the only way you're going to be able to charge this is to plug this rascal into the desk charger. All right, we've got our power meter hooked up. This is a uh, 50 watt rated dummy load. This was a kit from Rocket City USA, I think. I'll find it and drop a link in the show notes. This is uh, a Nisei SWR power meter, the RS40. And this goes up to 300 watts. Uh, it has three ranges, 15, 60, and, or excuse me, 200 watts, 15, 60, and 200. And then it does SWR on power. So I am on VHF right now. The radio is on 146.52. And I have the Franken adapters all set on. So let's see what we, uh, what we get when I key up, when I find the right button. All right. That looks like about four watts, not five. 
right at it. You can see right there, five would be straight up and we're hitting four pretty solid. So let's change this over to um, low power. Which I should be able to do menu. through the menu. Yep. Low. Okay. Now we're on low power, still on VHF. And let's key up, see what we got. And right at one watt. Right at it. That was VHF. Let's jump this over to 70 centimeters. Four, four, six, zero, zero. Menu. And let's go to high power. Power. Confirm. All right, 70 centimeter power. And that looks like about three watts on 70. Yep. All right. Let's change our power to low. Power. Confirm. Power. Confirm. And let's see what we get on low power on 70 centimeters. Mm, it looks like just shy of one watt. So four watts, one watt, not exactly five watts. Uh, but you know, it's a valve thing, so I'm not surprised. Let's see what kind of SWR we're gonna get. I will have to reset up the Franken adapters and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've changed out the Franken adapter for us. And let's take a look at what our SWR looks like on UHF. This is the UHF call channel. Get that where it shows up in the camera really well. 1.4 is what that looks like. 1.4. So not bad. And keep it in mind that I have, you know, Franken adapter here. All right, let's change to UHF. One, four, six, five, two, zero. K and four YCD, testing one, two, three, four. Keela November four, Yankee Charlie Delta, testing one, two, three, four. So it barely deflects on VHF. That is interesting. All right. All right, so here we go. Let's try... Uh, Let's try um, 1.25. Two, two, zero, 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 cancel. Ah, maybe it won't let us do it. Two, 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 zero, zero, cancel. Well, that's interesting. A Baofeng that honors, that honors things. Ha! Huh. So 173.5. Uh, it's definitely transmitting. It's putting out power. That's interesting. So, 10 watts on 173.5 megahertz. I'm not sure what band that is. <clears throat> Four, five, three, seven, six, two. Ah. Two, 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 two. Cancel. And it's transmitting up in the public safety band as well. Interesting. So, Valfang hasn't got all the everything locked out like they're supposed to. Um, this radio, does it have an FCC sticker? No, it does not. You can see there, it does not have an FCC ID at all. And of course, that's the sticker on the battery. So this is not going to be type accepted. And it clearly says on the radio that it does transmit 135 to 174 
in 400 to 520 megahertz. <clears throat> I was thinking somebody had told me this thing would transmit on on the 220 band, but it doesn't appear to do that. It doesn't doesn't like that. Two, two, three, zero, zero, cancel. Yeah, that's it's not going to do that. Huh. Okay. Um, but let me uh, let me hook up the tiny essay and we'll take a look at it and I'll be right back. Okay. So we're going to do a little a little quick little test with the tiny essay here. All right. This is my uh, XTS three thousand Motorola, and it is a uh, P twenty five VHF radio. So we're going to give this a shot on one forty six four. I have a uh, minus thirty dB dummy load or uh, attenuator in here. So we're just eating all my signal, and we're set at one watt. And that's what our signal looks like with the Motorola XTS 3000 on 146.4. And that's a pretty clean looking signal. So let me hook the uh, Baofeng back up and set it to this freak. And then uh, let's take a comparison. Okay, guys, here's the same test with the Baofeng on 146.4. And this is set to low power. And once again, with the 30 dB attenuator, we get that to focus a little better and that doesn't look terrible that looks pretty close pretty close to the uh, to the Baofeng I mean the, to the Motorola so not bad not bad at all all right so that's that's pretty much it this is the Baofeng UV6R, and, and like I said, and I'll find a link and I'll post it in the description below. I got this from r &L and I believe this is about $25 or $29. It's available on Amazon as well for about $36, I believe. Um, but I like to try and support mom and pop ham radio stores, you know, when I can, as opposed to Amazon. Um, I love the people at r &L outstanding shipping, outstanding customer service, and I cannot say enough about them, as well as mtcradio.com. I've dealt with both of them. I bought my um, ICOM 7610 from MTC Radio. But anyway, back to the subject. So this is, yeah, I, I have no problems with this radio. This is a nice little radio. If I had uh, a person who was new to amateur radio, I would have no problem recommending this for their first official ham radio so they could uh, play around on local repeaters. If you've got a brand new technician who, who doesn't know what to do to get into it and start using his amateur license, this is not a bad radio to start. And for 25 or $30, the cost of entry is low. Yes, you can spend $100 more or, or even a little less but and get you a, a Yesu or an Icom possibly, but 25 bucks is, is just walking around change from for a lot of people. Um, so that's it. That's all I've got for today. Really appreciate it. Guys, if you would do me a favor and uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already and make sure you ring the bell so you get notified when I drop any new videos. That's all I've got for today. 73 fellas. Have a good one.